Hello, dear people! It's Sunday and it's worship day for all of us. Kumusta po kayo? This is the last Sunday of May. Oh my goodness! And next week, alam po ba ninyo kung ano yun? That's the first Sunday of June. <laughs> Siyempre. <laughs> Pero aside from being the first Sunday of June, alam nyo ba yun? That is going to be our church anniversary again. Woo! Wow! We are turning 22 years old. Hallelujah! Oh, wow! The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Maski po nandito tayo sa mga quarantine na ganito, but the Lord is still so good. And today, we celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, maraming salamat again for this another day that we can celebrate your goodness, your faithfulness, your presence in our midst. And Lord, I'm asking right now, Holy Spirit, inspire me. Inspire my brothers and my sisters who are worshiping with us ngayong umaga man o ngayong hapon man. Oh Lord, we pray, just anoint everyone. Let this be a day wherein we will encounter you afresh. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. So mga kapatid, you know what to do. Meron po tayong worship leader. Sabayan natin, nandiyan ang lyrics. Umawit tayo para sa ating audience of one. And that is our God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for the privilege that we are given to enter His most holy presence and sing to our God. Amen. All right. Well, we proceed to our announcements. Ito po ang aking announcement. By now, I am hoping, I am hoping that we will have received uh, uh, a reply from Eton Sentries concerning our requests. Alam po ninyo ito ngayon, no? and I trust that you're also praying for this, that we are actually negotiating with Eton Sentries. So by now, I hope that we um, would have received uh, um, a reply from them concerning our our rent of the place sa Eton Sentries. Now, kung magiging maayos po ang ating negotiations with them, this is the announcement. It's not yet 100% confirmed, but this is something that I'm hoping will be true. Sa susunod pong linggo, that's the first Sunday of June, we will have our on-site worship service again at Eton Centuries. That means we get to celebrate our 22nd anniversary at Eton Centuries again. Yay! Ipagpray po ninyo yan. So, Pastor, pa, paano namin malalaman kung sigurado na yan? Ganito po, we will be making the announcement sa so Wednesday, sa Hunger Night, sa Friday, sa Healing is Yours Online. Pero right now, I'm saying there's a big possibility sa Eton Centuries po magkakaroon tayo ng on-site worship for our anniversary celebration. Amen? Now, having said that, tuloy po ang ating online. Siyempre, itong Sunday, meron po tayong 10.30 a.m., meron tayong 5 p.m. na online. And Wednesdays, we have our hunger night and Fridays, we have our Healing is Yours Online and Heo, Heo, Healing is Yours Online, will be back in Hiram Grospe Pangilinan. Yun na po yun. Lilipat ulit tayo ron, but not to worry. Kasi maski naman pumunta pa kayo sa Hiram G. Pangilinan page or the Church So Blessed page, you will still get to watch it. Dahil ililink-link na po natin yan. But for now, I will be using yung Grospe, the Hiram Grospe account as a, the main um, um, station, kumbaga, ng atin pong Kiyo. Alright? I suppose that's it. And once again, I just would like to say thank you so much to all of our brothers and sisters who have been so faithful and so generous in your giving of your tithes and your offerings and even love gifts. The Lord knows who you are. Sabi nga ng Bible, wag mong ipaalam sa kanan mong kamay yung ginawa ng kaliwa and vice versa. Dahil si Lord na lang ang nakakaalam niyan at si Lord na magre-reward sa inyo. So right now, I'm just declaring rewards, 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 rewards in the name of Jesus. Lord, by faith we receive it for you're the God who rewards in Jesus' name. Everybody say, I receive it. Amen, amen. Oh, wow, be surprised. Amen. All right, like what I promised you, we will have a testimony from our Healing is Yours online people. No? At ngayon po, kakaiba yung babasahin ko sa inyo because this is one testimony of healing that did not happen through our OPRs. It did not happen through me during the live broadcast. It happened through one of our viewers. Yay! At yan po talaga ang gusto natin. Hindi lang tayo, hindi lang CSB people ang ginagamit ni Lord kung hindi Everybody who considers himself or herself a believer in Jesus. So, here's a testimony from Tere Camarines. Si Tere po, ang kanyang unang OPR ay si Jen, si Jen Tan. Pero, let me read her story to you. Hello, Ma'am Jen. As you have been my prayer partner for God's healing, grace, and mercy, I have done the same to a sister in Christ 
who suffered terrible headache almost daily. So dito po si Tere, nakita natin, siya yung dati na pinagpray ni Jen. Pero ngayon, si, si Tere, may kaibigan daw siya, a sister in Christ, who suffered terrible headache almost daily. I prayed for her and in the name of Jesus, commanded the sickness to leave and go to the feet of Jesus. Powerful! Command the sickness to leave. Tama po yun. And go to the feet of Jesus. Again, in the name of Jesus, I commanded healing to flow in. Problem is, I was not able to ask her to check it out. So, hindi niya agad na sabi, oh, check it out. However, a few minutes after our prayer, yan na, a few minutes after our prayer, ang sabi niya, she messaged to inform me that the headache was totally gone. And I'm sharing the same message with you to give God all the praises and glory. Hallelujah! Woohoo! Ang nakakatuwa po rito. Well, you may be thinking, Pastor, ano yung sakit? Headache po. Headache lang. Mga kapatid, wala po tayong minamaliit. Wala tayo na sinasabi, Hay, ganun lang ang sakit. Kayo man, magkaroon ng headache. At ito po, sabi pa rito, almost daily yung headache. That's a terrible condition. That's a terrible condition. At para maalis lang yung headache na ito in an instant, that is God. And what I'm so happy about in this testimony is that we are seeing here the ripple effect of the healing ministry. Na hindi na lang ito ako o yung ating OPRs, it is rippling out, rippling out na ang atin pong mga viewers, our brothers and sisters, even in the body of Christ, they are being raised up as part of God's army of healers. Amen? Hallelujah! So ngayon po, even as you heard this, I challenge you, in the name of Jesus, go pray for someone who may be sick. At ngayon na rin, baka may nanonood sa atin na may, may sakit, may isa pa nga po ako natanggap, natutuwa ako kangin ng umaga lang, natanggap ko yung testimony na ito, from Ate Mai, no? mayroon sila na, na pamangkin. At uh, si Chaffee, I'll name him, si Chaffee, yung wife niya, ay mayroong ACL injury. No? At um, hindi niya maituwid yung kanyang leg because of this ACL injury. Pero praise God po, while watching Hiyo, while watching Hiyo, God healed her. So praise God. And God wants to do it through you as well. Amen? So, ngayon po, nanonood kayo kung uh, may sakit kayo, may karamdaman, o may pain sa inyong katawan, why don't you just place your hand upon that sick part? Yes, right now. Cancer man yan, tumor man yan, headache man yan, ulcer man yan, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus. Sige, go ahead. Place your hand upon that part. Place your hand upon that part and just say this with me. In Jesus' name, sickness, pangalanan niya yung sakit, like ACL or arthritis or headache, whatever. Sickness, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Be gone. Now, healing flow. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, check it out. Igalaw-galaw ninyo. Kung masakit yan, subukan ninyo kung nawala na. Kung may mga bukol, kapain ninyo, wala na rin, just check it out right now. This is not your usual, typical worship service na dapat umaandar na tayo. Let's give Holy Spirit some space. Check it out right now. Now, I want you to make a comment right there if you know you have been healed. Let's give it some time. Right now, just check it out. And give it a comment. If you know you improved, the pain lessened, or the pain is gone. And let's give God the glory. Amen? Hallelujah? Kung may mga nagsulat na po dyan, I'm saying praise be to God. Praise be to God. Hindi natin kinakahiya ang healing ni Lord because that is all Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for the joy of just serving you. 
in this healing ministry. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, this is Karen, and I'm from Church So Blessed, and I'm here to guide you on how you can give online. First, go to churchsoblessed.org slash give online. You'll then be directed to the PayPal page. You will see Donate to the Gathering Place of the Church So Blessed, Inc. There you can place any desired amount and click Donate with PayPal or Donate with a Credit Card. If you donate with a credit card, input your details as guided. And don't worry because all your information on PayPal is secure. That's about it. And as you give, we declare that you will be continually blessed, immeasurably and abundantly more than you could ever ask or imagine. Hallelujah. For our message today, ito po napaka-relevant sa ating panahon ngayon. It's from Psalm 121. And let me read it to you. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip he who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. The psalmist started this whole psalm with a question. Where does my help come from? At yun po ang title ng ating mensahe for today. Where our help comes from. We all need help. Lalo na sa panahon na ginagalawa natin ngayon, it seems like everywhere you turn, there is a need for help. It seems like there's a need for help when it comes to our safety, a need for help when it comes to our protection, a need for help when it comes to our health, a need for help when it comes to our sanity. Isipin nyo pati yung sanity natin. We need help. And the psalmist asked the question, where does my help come from? Meron siyang sinagot dito. Sabi niya, my help comes from the Lord. Now, I'm going to dissect Psalm 121 and we're going to answer, Bakit nga ba si Lord? Why is it that only the Lord? Everybody say, only the Lord. Yan po yan eh. Talagang si Lord lang. Ultimately, ultimately, our help comes from the Lord. Now, the question is, why? Why the Lord? Why is it that only the Lord can be our help in this life? Isa-isay natin. The first answer is to be found in verse 2. Sabi rito, My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. There you have it. Number one. Why is it that the Lord is our help? Because He is the God of creation. Wow! Sabi rito ng psalmist, My help comes from the Lord. Bakit si Lord? He is the maker of heaven and earth. Ang tindi po ng help natin. Imaginein mo, gaano kalakas, gaano ka makapangyarihan itong ating help. Yung pagkasumigaw ka ng help, tulong. Who's going to help you? He is the maker of heaven and earth. Yun lang naman, gaano siyang kalakas, he is the maker of heaven and earth. Matindi po ito. Hindi siya presidente ng bansa. Hindi siya prime minister. Hindi siya general ng army. Siya lang naman ang may likha ng langit at lupa. Imagine if that is the God who is going to help you. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Ang sabi ng Psalm 33 verse 6, 
by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, their starry host by the breath of his mouth. How did God create everything? By the word of the Lord. God just spoke. God just spoke. He said, let there be light and there was light. Let there be oceans and there were oceans. Let there be animals in the sea and there were whales and there were sharks and there were all these big things, big creatures all over. Let there be and there was. God just spoke and there it was. Nagsalita lang si God. And that's the God who is telling us right now, I can help you. Ano kailangan mo? God can just declare it. Let there be and there was. Here's another verse. Psalm 96 verses 4 and 5. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Oh, wow. Ngayon po, nakakatuwa yung mga findings ng NASA. Lalo na meron na siyang uh, mga clear pictures of what's going on in Mars. Yun, pinagsiselebrate na ng buong sangkatauhan yun. Wow, umabot na yung mga pictures sa Mars na ang, ito pala ang surface ng Mars. But that is just still the solar system, people. That is just the solar system. And the solar system is just one little system in the galaxy called Milky Way. And Milky Way is just one of those galaxies and there are billions of galaxies eh, all over this universe. Big, big God that we have. Ito lang pong mundong ito. Eh. Hindi pa nga natin nalilibot ang buong planeta. Eh. And you can just imagine, ang laki-laki ng Metro Manila. And yet, Metro Manila is just a tiny little part of the Philippines. And the Philippines is just a tiny li little part of Southeast Asia. And Southeast Asia is just a little part of Asia. And Asia is just a part of the planet called Earth. And Earth is just a little planet in the solar system. And this is our big God, the one who created the heavens and the Earth. And He's saying, Hiram, I'll back you up. Whoa! Palitan niyo yung pangalan ko. Ilagay niyo yung pangalan ninyo. Wesley, I'll back you up. Ano? <laughs> that is our God. And He is our help. Everybody say, help God. Woo, wow. Alam niyo po, in some of my travels, I would say that there have been a few na talagang ako po namangha. Ako natulala. Um, I can name, halimbawa, I, I went to Yosemite Park no, in, in California. I remember my cousin bringing me there at um, umikit kami, sabi niya, halika, ililibot kita. And so we drove. He loves driving. And so we drove. We, we drove. Ang layo. I think it was about four hours, five hours from San Francisco. Ang layo ng Yosemite Park. So finally, we arrived there. At sabi niya, itong mga bundok dito, they're all made of granites. Granite is a very, very hard, hard uh, kind of rock, no? A kind of a... Uh, um, um, stone or, or metal, I suppose. Basta matigas na matigas yan. And so, it, it was even um, um, made in, in a presidential decree, bawal mag-mining dito sa, sa buong Yosemite Park because all of these mountains that you see all over you are made of granite. Merong gray granite, merong brown granite. So, we were driving all over. Habang nagliliku-liku po kami, Pagliko namin na ganyan and the sun was shining from my right, tinamaan yung, yung isang bundok. People, I kid you not, it was made of blue granite. Imagine a sparkling blue granite mountain. Isang malaking bundok na kulay blue na nung tinamaan ng araw, it was just right in front of me. And when I saw that, sabi ko, June, yan ba granite pa rin? Sabi niya, granite yan. Sabi ko, pa pwede mo igilid? Sabi niya, of course, iginilid niya yung kotse and I just started to cry. I started crying. Sabi ko, God, this blue granite mountain, it's just, 
Wow! It's so beautiful. It's so glorious. And God, I'm looking at these mountains. Sabi ko, namamangha ako sa Kanya. How much more you? God, the one who created this mountain, He must be very awesome and glorious. And I also remember having been to um, um, Japan, yung Mount Fuji. Kami po ni Ate Lolet, namangha rin kami. When our host, Pastor Johnny, um, who's a dear classmate of mine, a dear friend, itinera niya kami sa isang hotel, unknown to us, unknown to us, sa likod pala ng hotel namin, ang view is Mount Fuji itself. At nung lumabas lang kami ng hotel, para lang may binili ata kami ni Ate Lola ito, nung pabalik na kami ng hotel, that was the time when we saw it. Sabi ko, oh my goodness, that's Mount Fuji! At inilibot nila kami, inilapit nila kami sa Mount Fuji, And we found out Mount Fuji is this huge mountain. Beautiful, beautiful, yung cone shape na tinatawag. It's huge. And it's right smack in the center of all these huge cities of Japan. Sabi ko, ang ganda-ganda naman ng creation na ito. And God made it. Another site that I... I I always remember would be the Niagara Falls. Kung pa, paano pagka nakita nyo how powerful, how strong the current is, yung ang lakas ng daloy ng tubig na ito, and it's all rampaging towards the falls. Sabi ko, wow, God is such a big God and He holds everything in the palm of His hands. Bakit ko kinikwento ito lahat sa inyo? Just to highlight the fact, lahat ng mga kamangha-mangha na yan, tuldok lang kay Lord. At si Lord, the one who created everything, He is your ever-present help in times of trouble. He is there for us. So where does our help come from? Our help comes from this God of creation. He created everything and He is For you. Wow! Anong kinakaharap mo ngayon? Gaanong kalakian? Hay, pastor, ang laki-laki po. Sa tingin natin, malaki. Pero sa tingin ni God, <laughs> the one who created the heavens and the earth, maliit yan. Kaya yan ni Lord. Amen? Let's move on. So, where does our help come from? Let's move on. Verse 3. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Okay? So, who is this God? From where, from whom our help comes from? Number two, he is the God of history. He is the God of history. I love how the psalmist added here, sabi niya, sino ba yung nagtitingin sa iyo sino ba yung nagwa-watch over you who is he who's watching over you ito lang naman he is the one who watches over Israel Aha! oh my goodness that is the god who's watching over me he is the god who's watching over Israel so what do you do you just need to look at the history of Israel and there you have the track record of this god who's watching over you ano ba yung track record ni God? Well, let me just remind you of a few, okay? These are some of the things that God did for Israel. Sabi niya, He who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Ito, ito lang naman ang mga track record ni God. Una, you remember Israel escaping from Egypt? In Exodus 14.14, the Lord said, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. So what does God do? Hinati lang naman yung dagat. Hinati lang, ganun lang, patapos pinatawid lang naman niya lahat ng mga Israelites habang yung mga Egyptians ay hindi makahabol, hindi makatawid. Why? Because God became a pillar of fire between the Israelites and the Egyptian army. So nandito yung mga Israelites tumatawid, tumatawid, habang si God hinati niya yung dagat, yung mga Egyptian army gustong-gustong humabol pero there was a pillar of fire and they cannot cross. When the last of the Israelites was able to um, um, 
stand on land na nandun na sa kabila, that was the time when God allowed that the pillar of fire will be removed and then the Egyptian army with Pharaoh all ran after them in their chariots, of course, and then the wall, the sea wall collapsed, killing all of the enemies. Yun lang naman yung God na ito. Another, when Israel was fighting against the Amalekites, you remember? Bible says that all that Moses had to do was lift up his hands. Nakataas lang naman ng kamay ni Moses and every time he would lift up his hands, the Israelites would win against the Amalekites. That's the God of Israel. Na sinabi lang naman ni God, taas mo lang kamay mo Moses, haba nakataas yan, mananalo kayo. And God is telling us the same. Anong problema mo? Taas mo lang kamay mo sa akin. Call out to me. Call out to me. Worship me. Lift your eyes up to me. Akong bahala sa'yo. Ito pa, Israel against the Midianites. You remember? The Midianites, they were harassing the Israelites. And God says, ang dami-dami ng mga kalaban na ito. Okay, Gideon, raise up your own army. Nag-raise up si Gideon ng army niya. Tatlumpong libo, sabi ni God. Hindi kailangan tatlumpong libo. Kailangan tatlong daan. God, 300, I will show you. It's not by your numbers. It's by my might. Woo! That's the history of Israel. That every now and then, if they're going to win a battle, it's not because of their strength. It's because of their God. And I'm telling you right now, it's not because of my strength. It's not because of your strength. It's because of our God. Who is the God who helps us? He is the God of history. And we can see this in the history of Israel. Wala pa siyang na italo na gera. Remember that. Pag si Lord ang namuno sa gera, panalo. Pag inalis mo si Lord sa gera, talo, syempre. Here's another one. Ha? Here's another one. Of course, we all know this. David against the Philistines. When he fought against Goliath, what did he do? He fought against Goliath. He was using this slingshot. Tirador. Tirador. So, ano ba yung tirador ito? Pwede ba yun? But David won that. And in that particular battle, the Israelites won against the Philistines. Here's another one. Oh, it, I love this one. Hezekiah. Hezekiah. You remember when Sennacherib, Sennacherib was threatening the nation of Judah. And God says, Akong bahala sa'yo, Hezekiah. Akong bahala. And God sent an angel, just one angel. The story is in 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 35. It says here, That night, the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 in the Assyrian camp. When the people got up the next morning, there were all the dead bodies. Oh my goodness. This is God fighting for His people. And this is... Israelite history. So all we need to do is just look at the history of Israel. Pagka si God ang lumaban para sa kanila, panalo na. Ito po yung pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. How God will just protect Israel. How God will just fight the battle for Israel. Itong recent, recent, just two weeks ago, nagkaroon itong gulo sa Gaza. You remember? When Hamas launched all of its rockets, more than 4,000 rockets, more than 4,000 rockets. And how the story goes, yung mga rockets ng Hamas, 30% of them will just fail. Babalik doon sa Gaza rin mismo, not to the Israelite territory. At kung nakalusot man sa Israelite territory, there's the Iron Dome. Ay, Pastor, Iron Dome yon, man-made yon. But let me tell you this. God was the one who's giving them wisdom. God is the one who's giving them protection as well. He is the God of history. Ito nga po, eh, pinag-aaralan ko, modern Israel naman ang pag-usapan natin. Modern Israel. When Israel was re-established as a nation, agad, 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 all of these Arab nations agreed to fight Israel. Ang moto nila noon, let's drive them out to the sea at ubusin natin sila. 
So all of these nations, they fought against Israel. Meron pong tatlo na major wars. You have the War of Independence, you have the Six-Day War, and you have the Yom Kippur War. And in all of these wars, account after account after account kung papaanong si Lord ang nag-iingat sa Israel. And I'm telling you all this kasi po ito yan eh. He who watches over Israel is the same God who watches over us. Kung baga nagbigay na si Lord ng kanyang track record. Oh, sabi niya, Hiram, eto ha, ano man ang nangyayari sa mundo ngayon, ano man ang nangyayari sa paligid mo. At kausap ka rin niya, CSB, Church so Blessed, ano man ang nangyayari sa mundo ngayon, ano man ang nangyayari sa paligid niyo, And body of Christ, kausap rin tayong lahat ni Lord. Ano man ang nangyayari sa mundo ngayon, ano man ang nangyayari sa paligid ninyo, God is saying, kung papaanong I watched over Israel, I'm watching over you. Haha, <laughs> Hallelujah! Meron pa ako isang story I want to share with you. During the War of Independence, ito pa sa Israel, no? when it became a nation again. Here's a story. During the Independence War, Ira Rappaport's Israeli platoon fought the Jordanian military for Mount Zion and found themselves surrounded by hundreds with only 25 bullets left. Imagine ninyo, yung, bu yung buong platoon ng Israel, of course, ang konti lang naman ng platoon, at binilang nila, 25 na lang ang bullets na natitira sa atin. With a sad end seemingly near, the men agreed to go out with a bang and readied themselves to make good use of every last bullet. Then, just when the small platoon were about to face the inevitable, something incredible happened. The Jordanian soldiers dropped their weapons and began suddenly running away, screaming, Abraham! Several years later, Ira, si Ira Rappaport, yung kanya pong, this is the soldier in the platoon, okay? Ira would come across a familiar face with an unlikely answer as to what had actually occurred on that miraculous day. This was a former Jordanian soldier who had fought against Ira on Mount Zion. So may nakatag po siya, isa dun sa mga soldiers ng Jordan na nakalaban nila nun. According to him, his army, according to the Jordanian soldier, his army all witnessed a vision of Abraham defending the Jews in the sky above the Israeli platoon and had no choice but to drop their weapons. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the God of Israel showing His people, my track record ako, when I fight for you, hindi kayo matatalo. And this is the same God who has promised to protect us. Amen? Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord! Ay, naku, ang dami-dami po mga ganyang kwento. I don't have the time, pero ang dami ng mga ganyang kwento. Let's move on. Andar tayo. So, He is the God of creation, and He is the God of history. Now, let's move to the third. Sabi rito sa verse 5, verse 6, The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. So, the third answer where our help comes from is He is the God of individuals. So, nando na tayo. He's the God of creation. At sabi mo, laki-laki naman ni God. Isipin mo, the entire universe, si God ang nag-create niyan. And then he's the God of history. And we look at the, and the, the, the history of Israel and we'll say, wow, God is looking after a nation. Ang laki-laki niya man yan. But this is what's so good. As big as the universe is, and as big as the nation of Israel is, 
God is also, number three, the God of individuals. May pakialam siya sa atin. May pakialam siya sa inyo. May pakialam siya sa akin. With every detail of our life, God is concerned. So he says here, the Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Imagine this. He will give you a shade, literally. Literally. Alam niyo yung kwento sa Jonah chapter 4 verse 6. I'll read it to you. Jonah chapter 4 verse 6. The Lord God provided a leafy plant and made it grow up over Jonah to give shade for his head, to ease his discomfort. And Jonah was very happy about the plant. What does this show us? God is the God of individuals. Meron siyang personal touch sa bawat isa sa atin. You will probably know about this. Halimbawa lang, ako po, ito, naghahanap ako ng chinelas. Naghahanap ako ng chinelas. Nung isang araw lang. Tapos, nung nakakita na ako finally, sabi ko, ito yung hinahanap kong chinelas. Eh, ang gusto ko po nun, kulay blue. Sabi niya, meron po ako, sir, isang blue, isang blue. Sabi ko, pa pasukat. Nung sinubukan ko yung size, sabi ko, wow, saktong-sakto. Sabi ko, meron ka bang iba yung pa pwede ko pang sukatin? Sabi niya, sir, wala na po. Nag-iisa lang yan. E sabi ko, humanap ka lang, subok lang. Uma humanap siya, nagtingin-tingin siya sa iba't ibang mga stalls. Sir, sabi niya, nag-iisa lang po talaga. Sabi ko, Lord, ang bait mo naman. Una, alam mo, gusto ko itong blue. Pangalawa, meron kang pinurvide na nag-iisa na sukat na saktong-sakto para sa akin. What does that show me? He is the God of individuals. He cares for you. Naalala ninyo kung paano si Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, God protected them. Doon sa fiery furnace, what does that show you? He is not just looking after the big universe or the nation of Israel. He is looking after the individuals. Ano nangyari kay Daniel? Nag-iisa siya sa lions den. Oh, I love that story in Daniel 6.23-24. Nag-iisa si Daniel doon. He was fed to some hungry, very hungry lions. And, and overnight, Imagine, overnight, hindi siya ginalaw ng mga lions. And the Bible says, verse 23, the king was overjoyed kasi narinig niya yung boses nitong si, si Daniel na buhay pa pala. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. And before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Doon sa mga nagsasabi, hmm, baka hindi gutom yung mga lion kaya hindi nila ginalaw si Daniel. Ah, 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 hindi po. Sobrang gutom nila. As a matter of fact, gutom na gutom sila, hindi lang nila magalaw si Daniel. O, paano mo nalaman na gutom? Eh kasi po, when the other men, the enemies of Daniel, were thrown into the den, sabi hindi pa raw lumalanding sa lupa yung mga tao, patay na. Hindi pa lumalanding. It says here, before they reached the floor of the den, the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Ganun silang kagutom. But Daniel was safe. Why? Because God cares even for the individuals. He is also the God of individuals. He is the God of Hiram. Palitan niya Hiram. He is the God of Lolet. He is the God of Palitan niyo. Your God. God looks after you. He knows the number of your hairs. He knows what you're facing right now. He knows your cares. He knows your anxieties. And God is saying, hey, I care for you. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He is the God of creation. He is the God of history. And He is the God of individuals. Hallelujah. So number four is this, verse 7, verse 8. 
The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now. Everybody say now. Kailan po ngayon? Ano ba ngayon? Now. <laughs> both now and forevermore. Wow. Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the God of eternity. I love it. The God of eternity. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Both now and forevermore. He does not change. Whatever power that God demonstrated in the past, He still demonstrates today. Whatever protection that God demonstrated in the past, He still demonstrates today. Wala pong pinagbago si Lord. Na huwag natin isipin na hindi kaya mag-provide sa akin ni Lord. Kaya po niya. Kung paano nag-provide si Lord doon sa widow na wala nang kakainin, sabi niya kay Elijah, wala na. Huli na itong flour, huli na itong oil, tapos nito mamamatay na kami ng dilat. No, He is the same God who provided for that widow and who will provide for you. O yung nag-ingat do sa mga Israelites in the Old Testament, yes, up to now, He still does that. And He does that also for all His sons and daughters. Ano sabi ng Hebrews 13.8? Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our God is an eternal God. He does not change like shifting shadows. Kung gaano siyang ka-faithful noon, ganun pa rin siyang ka-faithful ngayon. Ito pa nga ang bonus para sa atin. We who are living in the New Testament, now we won't have any shadow of a doubt. Kung Lord, nandyan ka ba? Lord, love mo ba ako? Lord, faithful ka ba? Bakit ko nasabi yon? Because now we have seen the goodness of God demonstrated in the life of Jesus Christ. Yun po yun eh. Yun ang kinaganda sa New Testament. That whatever doubts that people may have about the goodness of God, God is a wrathful God. God is a vindictive God. You know what? In the person of Jesus, now we have the perfect picture of a God who truly loves and protects His people. And all we need to do is look at Jesus. Si Jesus, iningatan niya yung mga anak niya. Even in the New Testament, you remember si Peter in Acts in chapter 12? He was in prison. And then it says in Acts in chapter 12, I'll, I'll read to you the story. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping. Between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and the light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said. And the chains fell off Peter's wrists. What do we see here? This is God protecting his children. Through angels, of course. At ngayon po, I just want you to know, God is also sending his angels to help us. To help us in this life. To help us in whatever it is that we're facing. Why? To show us he has never changed. He's the God of eternity. He is the same. Helping God 24-7. He helps us. He is with us. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. Now, having said that, anong kinakaharap mo? Anong kinakaharap mo? Anong pinoproblema mo? What is causing you worry? Pastor, walang kinalaman dyan sa sermon mo. Ito po ang mali natin eh. Sometimes, when it comes to some small details, we don't want to involve God. But I want you to know, God wants to be involved. Maski sa maliit na bagay, opo. Gusto ni Lord ma-involve. What are you facing right now? You as an individual, what are you facing? You as a family. What are you facing? Sa pamilya ninyo? Sa finances ninyo? Sa negosyo ninyo? Tayo as a church, what are we facing? 
we have our God who helps us. And He has promised He will never leave us nor forsake us. So malaki o maliit, ibigay natin kay Lord. Amen? I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help, our help, comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, maraming maraming salamat because you promised, you promised you will help us. And Lord, right now we come to you. May kanika niya po kami ng mga burdens. May kanika niya po kami ng mga needs. And right now, we come to you. Mga kapatid, I want you to pray this prayer with me right now. Sabihin natin ito. Lord God, salamat po. Kayo ang aming tatay. Kayo ang aming kaibigan. And Lord, meron po akong kinakaharap. I need help. Sige po, sabihin nyo, I need help. Lord, help me with fill in the blanks. Sabihin niyo kay Lord, where do you need help? Where do you need help? Sabihin niyo, He's listening. Malaki man yan o maliit. You need help with your health. You need help with with a, 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 a financial problem, what do you need? Sabihin niyo kay Lord. And Lord, I lift up to you this problem. Hawakan niyo na po. In the name of Jesus, Lord, ang church is so blessed. Hawakan niyo na po. Pati ang mga venue namin. Ha <laughs> ha! ang mga buildings na pinagpe-pray namin, ang provisions na kailangan namin, hawakan nyo na po. Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And Lord, we claim, sige, tuloy nyo, sabi nyo, and Lord, we claim, in the name of Jesus, you're answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Woo! Wow! Hallelujah! Where our help comes from, the answer is God. And we are expectant may gagawin si Lord. Amen? Hallelujah! Woo! Who's thankful? Buhay ang Diyos natin. Amen. Well, people, again, this is the last Sunday of May, meaning next Sunday, it's the first Sunday of June, and it's our 22nd church anniversary. Woohoo! Be on the watch, no? Sa announcements, hopefully on Sunday, we will have our anniversary celebration. Doon po sa centuries, if all things will just uh, um, fall into the right places, 30% capacity po ang allowed, which I will peg, aabot uh, tayo, pwede tayo ng mga 200 people if it is at 30%. Alright? Pero, wait for announcements. Amen? Well, that's it for us today. Oh, before I conclude, if there's someone watching, you haven't met Jesus Christ, and you want salvation, follow after me. Just say this prayer, Lord Jesus, I need you. I am a sinner. Forgive me. I repent. I ask you, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. From now on, I'm yours. Thank you. I'm now a child of God. Amen. Amen. Well, if you pray that prayer with me, maiksi lang yan, but that's powerful because even now, I can tell you, Jesus is in your heart. Fall in love with him. Read his word every day. God bless you people. I'll see you Wednesday. I'll see you Friday. And I'll see you Sunday. And 5 p.m. Meron po ulit tayo. Mamaya yon. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye!